Hello everyone. In this video we're going to focus on how to replace your existing spindle nut with a locking one, which can of course be found at damagecontrolcustoms.com. Please note the intention of this video is not to replace the content of your training manual, so please do yourself a favor and go online and download the training manual. You should be starting on page 646 with the meat of the content being on page 648. So we're going to go ahead and start off by doing that ourselves and printing the pages that are relevant to what we need. We're of course going to go ahead and get started with step number one, which is draining the existing geared oil. In this figure, item number four, we're going to turn it clockwise using a 5 16 Allen wrench and just letting it drain until it's completely dry before we take apart the rest. The next step in our process is going to be to remove the steering arm cover. For that, we're going to need a 3 4 socket, and we're going to remove all four of the screw caps and the washers. In this image, that's item number 5, 6, and 7. Once we have it removed, we're going to scrape off all of the old gasket, dry it off with a paper towel. We're going to do that to the steering arm cover and actually on the hubs themselves. If you're not going to go ahead and replace your spindle nut, then this is what you want to see when you're looking at it. You want to make sure that you're seeing two of your locking tabs from your lock washer bent into your retaining nut. In this case, that's numbers 8 and 9. In our case, we're going to replace it, so we're going to go ahead and take our screwdriver and bend out the locking tabs away from the retaining nut. Then we're going to use a retaining nut wrench or socket and go ahead and take it apart. Once you have everything removed, go ahead and take your new locking spindle nut kit out and remove the notched washer. Go ahead and slide your notched washer all the way in. Of course, it's notched, so you can't do it incorrectly. Once you have that seated and in place, you wanna take your grooved spindle nut and you wanna use a one and three quarters inch socket to go ahead and tighten it 35 to 45 foot pounds. Next, you want to take your spindle and rotate it five times clockwise and five times counterclockwise to seat your bearing in place. After doing so, you want to go ahead and actually loosen your retaining nut and then go ahead and retighten it to 23 to 27 foot pounds. For the next step, you're going to install your locking retainer. You will have only one of six possible positions which will securely engage the notched washer. After doing that, you want to install your snap ring. To make life easier on yourself, please grab some large snap ring pliers to complete it a little bit easier. Once done, this is what your locking spindle nut should look like. Next, we're going to go ahead and clean off the drain plug, dry it off, and reinstall it on the bottom using the 5 16 Allen wrench. Next, we're going to go ahead and apply the Right Stuff 1 Minute Gasket onto our steering arm cover. Get it ready for placing it back. To install the steering arm cover, we're going to take the same four bolts, put them back on, and we're going to use our torque wrench and torque them to 65 foot pounds. Next, we're gonna go ahead and take a one inch socket and remove our fill plug. Once it's been removed, we're going to clean it, dry it, put it aside, and start to fill 80 or 90 weight gear oil up to the proper oil level. Once it's all full and done, we're gonna go ahead and take our torque wrench and re-tighten our fill plug to eight to 13 foot pounds. Whether you elect to change your spindle knot to a locking one or not, one of the very first things you should do when you acquire your Humvee is check your geared hubs and make sure that your spindle knot is locked into place and you don't have any water in your geared oil. If you choose to order some, please feel free to check out Damage Control Customs and order your own locking spindle nut. Thank you.